Oh, you guys are in for a right treat this week because you get to see me struggle, lose my rag, get the ump, and then have an epiphany all in one episode. But it's all right. We're all friends here, right? Oh, yes, we are back at the beach. We're back at Planet Coaster and we're back in Beachy Point. Welcome aboard, everybody. This is episode three and this is the park as it sits from the top right now. I think it's pretty good going so far, right? So far, so good. Please don't get excited about the coasters that are in the background. They're just there to make sure that I've got some kind of boomerang solution somewhere. And uh, no, these game shooters didn't stay in their location very long. It was literally... A fraction of an episode because this is what we got this week. I have taken aim pretty much at River Caves at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I wanted something very, very similar, uh, so that's what we're going for. So we have a station and we're going to drop down here and then go into a bit of a, a twisted layout. Uh, and then it comes into a raised bit, then into a really, really small drop. I've chosen to use the Cascade for this reason, right? You can load them fairly quickly, um, but you do need a long station, but that kind of forces my hand with. Uh, stuff. I didn't want anything thrilling or anything like that in this space. I actually just wanted this this really simple log flumey type ride. But what I wanted was there to be an intrusive building right in the middle of the park because we now have to try our hand at hiding the side of a basically a maintenance building. So what we've got is a load of shops and games units and stuff that would come along this side. A load of shops and games units that will come along this side. Cha cha toilets for the win. Uh, a bit of a maintenance area that's going to live here. And then hiding the other side of the building is a ghost train. But that's not this episode. I've already ruled that out. I am just going to do this bit uh, this bit in the middle. And then of course we have another line of shops that we're going along the side of the woody there. So I have no idea for theme. I have no idea for inspiration. I have no idea what I'm doing. Literally. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right then, guys, I think I'm probably about at the halfway point of the episode, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit frustrated. It's not coming out of my head in the way that I thought it was going to, and given that I'm trying to follow up on last week's amazing success with the coaster, I'm really, really struggling with this one. But now feels like a really good time to stop and to talk to you about it and get it out of my head so we can all live happily ever after, and I can hopefully get rid of this creator's block that I've got. And I mean... I don't love it, I don't hate it, but we've gone for an adventure theme anyway, as you can quite clearly see. And I think it's because I'm trying to make this a little bit too much like River Caves. Um, I mean, I'm making excuses for, for how I'm feeling at the moment, and you know, you see this in my videos all the time. So let's just talk about what we've done, right? So I really like this whole temple, this temple vibe. Now, what I am toying with or what I'm playing with at the moment is this idea between stylized and themed. We've always said that this park is more stylized than themed but when you look at Blackpool there's a lot of stuff that's individually themed but still has the same style to it. It's still stylized and that's what I'm going for here. I think it works. It sits on the sight line all right. I'm not entirely in love with this entrance bit here but again I think it's because I'm trying to make it too much like um river caves so it's it's okay and i mean the ride itself is coming together it doesn't have a story and it doesn't need a story but what i've done is i've put loads of the concrete and stuff down and then i've just put temple stuff around it this there's going to be waterfalls and stuff there's going to be all sorts of visual effects and lighting effects and whatever that goes on in here i haven't done any of those yet because i just wanted to make sure that the ride system itself was right and this yeah it feels it feels okay it feels like it's a tour through a temple and then we're going to have a little bit of a darker outside section here where we're going to have some foliage and, and whatever that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to bring in and then we come through into another part of the temple and this is going to be a bit of a snake pit so I'm going to put uh, the snake animatronics and stuff down here so that you're sort of going over the top of the snakes and then of course you come down into the final splash zone and into this part here uh, of course this all needs tidying up there is so much jank going on here uh, and I think it's going to look all right when the um path is actually flushed to the fences and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, the queue doesn't need to be any longer than this, by the way. The prestige of this ride is not massive. Uh, I think it's only like 350. It's one of the lowest in the park. And I'm alright with that because it's a relatively low throughput ride as well. So if you really do let this park go to town on the guests then you're still going to get a queue but it's going to munch through it uh, so on the outside here i have again i'm i'm toying with this or playing with this 
difference between stylized and themed um, and taking Blackpool as cues. So we've got some kind of adventure type stuff that's living on the outside here. I don't want this to be any more themed than this. I need to sort of like generic, generic it up a little bit as we're going along. But uh, we're going to have a games unit in this bit. We've got an arcade that's going to come here, another games unit here, and then another almost like arcade bit. Uh, here, I just need to fix all the, the pathways and stuff and it's and it's all going to be good. Uh, and then we've got ourselves Chacho Toilets. Of course we do. Uh, we've got the toilets that are in that are in place. You know this by now. Uh, you've got the cubicle and then you've got the actual toilet itself that's, that's inside there. Uh, and then I've just put the sinks down and then I've got the hand dryers in here. Split it off so it's male and female. I'm doing something different though with the building, uh, building style. And again, going for this idea of stylized versus... Um, themed, but it's going to be like a bit of a themed building. It needs tidying up. It's really, really jank around the edges. Uh, but I'm using windows, and I don't often use windows in my toilet builds, so it's all good. I, I, I wanted to change. I wanted to do something different. Um, and talking of doing something different, down here, I'm starting to try and think about how I'm going to hide this show building. I mean, the show building itself is only eight meters tall. It's not its not a tall show building at all. Um, it's about the same height, actually, as River Caves. Um, it's just River Caves obviously uses rock work and stuff to hide it. So what I'm going to do is, is put the usual... Um, uh, adventure stuff that you see me do on the roof of, of the stuff so that's going to partially hide this this show building but I kind of also want it to be on show a little bit because it's not a theme park remember it's an amusement park so we're not entirely hiding stuff from from everybody uh, the station itself I don't really know what I want to do in here vines I think will probably make this come to life a little bit and uh, a bit of decoration a bit of tiling down on the floor and stuff and I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be good I have uh, started to do the maintenance areas. Now, uh, I can't, as it turns out, actually kit this one out because I need to do some clipping with some of the scenery and stuff. So this one would be where all of the water uh, maintenance stuff would be because of the splashdown. And uh, what I've also done is made it so that when the water in the channels comes down into this pool, it would flood this pool and it comes in underneath this uh, underneath this floor here so underneath here would be like a chamber where they would store all of the water and stuff so that's what i'm doing but this maintenance area i think i'm going to kit out this is where you'll find all of your electrics and all of your servicing stuff for your boats and whatever so you'd actually have your boats down here uh, when you're servicing them and you have an access point there and then i have just put some doors in here which i just need to put on the other side um but again it's, it's not a massive 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 maintenance area it's just uh it's it's just going for it there's our unfinished ghost train that's probably going to be next week now and then this side i'm also uh still doing this idea of trying to hide the show building without hiding the show building and i wanted to do something slightly differently uh on this one on this side so we're kind of going for a bit of a western theme again this one's going to be an arcade remember this is one of those parks that would monetize as much space as they possibly can you can't put rides and stuff in front of here so what do you do well you put arcade machines in easy to run they make their they make their money and stuff. Blackpool is full of arcades, so that's what we <laughs> that's what we're going for here. But this is going to be, albeit an unusable, it's going to be a restaurant, um, and I'm going to put all of the kitchen stuff and and, and whatever in here. I think uh, I just want this to sort of like be different. I don't want this to be actually working stuff in game. It's it because it's it's fine as it is. But yeah, it got a bit of a western theme uh, western theme going on in here. And then the last bit to show you is this bit over here. Uh, I wanted this to feel more beachy. I wanted this to feel uh, as if, like, this has probably been here a while. Um, and it would, probably would have been part of the original theme of the park. And it's the whole beach hut vibe. You know, the wood. And it's white wood with the blue trims and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, and then I'm just toying with the idea of what the flooring is going to look like here. And I'm, I'm going to bring back my old friend, the diagonal. <laughs> the, the diagonal pathing. We've not seen it in a while. So... Uh, yeah, I think it needs to be. Uh, I think it needs to be done. I'm tidying up the flower beds and stuff around here, so I now know what space I'm going to be working with and how this is going to transition from one uh, to another. And then, of course, this just comes all the way around uh, this way. Now, I have stolen this idea here of the overhang from Blackpool because um, I quite like it. On the on the back end of River Caves, you've got the the, the building with the dome, and this uh, this actually quite quite nicely like replicates early days. British beach seaside stuff. This is the sort of stuff that we were doing with our building, so I think this uh, I think this fits in 
quite nicely. And I mean, it sits quite nicely on the park as well. Uh, I think we're going to end up, if I'm honest, we're going to end up using this space at the back here. So when we do, this building is, I think, going to make more sense in the context of the park and where it is. Uh, so that's going to be future me's problem anyway. For now, I've got a more immediate problem, and that's how I get rid of creator's block. So I'm just going to play this out and see what happens. <sighs> see you in a minute. All right, okay, I think I've managed to pull this together into something that is okay and it's passable. I mean, I don't love it, I don't hate it, I feel about it in the same way that I did the dive coaster in Royal Mile, so... You know, but not every episode has to be an absolute masterpiece. And some of you are going to look at this and go, do you know what? I actually really like it. So, Chacho, you can shut up because, you know, you're just being critical on yourself. <laughs> and I mean, I absolutely love how this bit has turned out. This, I think, is definitely, yes, I'm I'm here for it. But I mean, let's talk about it. Uh, I don't hate it, as I say. It looks, it looks okay now it's been pulled together. Uh, it's nothing that some stage smoke can't fix. You'll see what I mean in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's alright. It sits on the sight line okay. I think I worked out what it was. This is an 8 metre tall show building. So again, in terms of show building heights, it's not massive. But at Blackpool, River Caves actually has a path that goes up this way. Uh, and then it has buildings and stuff on top. So it's obscured by the entire park and the terrain chain. So I think this is what it is. It's bugging me. It just it sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, so inside the station, I have decorated this out quite a bit um i don't want to do any more than this because remember this has to be stylized rather than themed so i've just put like all of these little bits of decor down and i've just put these night panels and, and stuff up just to give it the idea of of a nighttime kind of vibe and then of course i've put all of the usual uh, gubbins in that you would find in a dark ride so i've put girders for the beams so you can actually see the beam girders and i've also put these uh, runners as well with the lights and stuff on the gantries on so, yeah, and I mean, the, the, the station itself looks okay. The station is far bigger than it needs to be because of the way that Planet Coaster does its stuff, right? So, this is the main focus of the uh, of the area, and I've just put all of the usual stuff that you would find. Let me just real quickly turn this to night so we can see uh, what we've got going on <laughs> inside the ride. Because, yeah, it's all lights and it's all spectacular. Um, I've triggered up loads of stuff, so there's lots of things that you'll find that are going off. So, there'll be lights and there's sounds and all, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the first one that we've got is this is this little dude here um i've kitted this out with quite a bit of theming now uh i it was quite empty before and uh i went along and just did loads of stuff like there's one of the first animations i don't know if you saw it um it's lights and, and whatever that are going on uh here i wanted this to be a bit of a scene of they're digging for treasure and they're, di they're digging for the stuff and the snake is there telling us that no that's not such a good idea and it's kind of a bit of a precursor to what's coming uh, with the snake pit and stuff later and then we come around this way there we go uh, and then we have waterfalls you are going to get wet um, I didn't want to go down the Valhalla route with this one I mean I could have done uh, actually that's a good point look at the size of the Valhalla building I, that's literally ping you've just heard that twig in my head look at the size of the Valhalla building I don't know why I'm worrying like, Epiphany has just kicked in. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to re-record this because... Wow. Okay, anyway. So, we've got waterfalls that are going on in here. And I've just put, like, these really weird... <laughs> <laughs> faces in here it's not it's not it's not a, um, a temple dark ride without creepy faces <laughs> and then here we go this is what I was talking about with stage smoke there's uh, this is a big open area I'm just gonna real quickly turn this back to daytime so you can see that there's a lot of stage smoke uh, in here and uh, yeah I've just put like all of the clutter and stuff down but it's still very much a temple i put the snake in and i've made i've made us go underneath the snake and underneath the uh, underneath the body right so uh, there we go underneath the body it's a little bit close and it's but it's good i mean that's that's the whole idea if i had if i had it differently the stage building would be slightly lower again it would be a bit more intimate but actually what i wanted to do in here needed the uh, needed the heights so then we've got this little dude in here you you recognize this right Grosvenor gardens yeah Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and then we've got a statue in here. Uh, and we come around this way. And we've just got the fire and stuff that goes off. Probably, would it be a real life fire? Probably not. No, it would probably be stage fire. You know, like either the, the Bunsen burn, burner style fire. Or it would actually be uh, fla um, fabric fire. Or plastic fire. But in this planet coaster, 
you have fire, so we just have to put up with it. And then, oh, outside. Then we come into the um, uh, into the jungle scene. This is pretty cool. And then we come into the snake scene. Uh, lots of low-level lighting, the green and and oranges. And then, of course, you've just got the blue as you go into uh, as you go into the drop outside. Let me just quickly move this back. There we go. So, I mean, it looks all right, doesn't it? I've put the roof on and I've given it some H ducting, HVAC ducting and stuff all along there just to make it, you know, actual real. Uh, and then the first maintenance area that we've got is this one here. Uh, and it's with a games unit, right? So I've had to sort of play this off a little bit and keep this area clear in case they did need to access it whilst the ride was uh, whilst the ride was in progress and then this one is one of the fire exits then we have the food unit love how this turned out it's just so simple and this is all it needs to be it doesn't need to be any more than that i will put some staff in but i'm, I, I'm trying to decide whether i want them to be themed staff or not and i need to know what's going to come in this area to know whether that's uh, whether that's the thing but yeah that's there's the the grab and go unit and i'm and i'm loving it um i'm not <laughs> just ignore <laughs> Ignore the ghost train. <laughs> uh, we've got a surprise ride. I needed to uh, fill out the pathing in this area a little bit more. And in order to do that, I thought, no, I actually need to put in what's going to be here. I didn't want it to be another building. I wanted it to be a ride. So that ride is now in. Its queue line is in and all of that. So su surprise. It's one that we didn't plan to do. <laughs> Toilets. Absolutely love these toilets. These turned out really, really well in the end. A lot of tidying up was needed. I was quite, um, I, I don't know whether lazy or slap hazard uh, with designing this one. But now it's all tidy and it looks good uh, from the outside. And of course you've got all your signs and stuff. And then inside, yeah, there we go. Toilets, toilets, toilets. And because it's one way glass, of course you've got the windows that look out. Um, do I want to do some more touching up in here? Yeah, there's a little bit that I do want to do, uh, but I'm all right with it. It's all right with it at the moment. Like, if I didn't do that stuff I wanted to do, it would still pass as a chacho toilet. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Chacho toilets. And this is the bit that I love. Uh, this this whole area, this strip here, uh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. When I was designing this building, I was like, oh, these feel a little bit jank and it feels a little bit like bare but no it's now come together this sight line with the coaster in the background and as you can see it from here the train station and stuff like you can't see it from the guest view but from here the train station and stuff it's deep it's a deep sight line and it doesn't need anything too like big in the front so that's what we've got and i'm kind of going with the idea that maybe this has been here for quite some time 60s 70s maybe uh, and it's just been done up as we've gone along and so i've just put lots of neon signs um i've put the brand eat it do you remember eat it when we were like yeah let's do a whole brand and let's make it go through the entirety of the series and stuff and then it never really happened so it's back uh so we've got all of the food stuff here we've got the drink stuff here uh, we've got ice cream and stuff here and of course we've got uh, just a gift shop that's here i kind of want to put something up here but i also like it being a bit blank being a bit bland then we've got an arcade unit uh i didn't actually want to put a sign on this one i just thought it needed to just speak for itself so there you go there's the arcade unit and it's actually usable um because you've got the cash machine and you've got the two the two grabber units there's the second the entrance to the second maintenance area and if we go um, in this way it's all done or it's, it's, it's as done as i want it to be anyway um so there you go there's the entrance to that one and then you've got a ring toss next door uh, and another arcade that's uh, that's living there and then you've got the um oh i don't know what game this would be it's throw balls at the target i mean if you miss that one you've got to be blind right <laughs> and then all of its stuff around here and this is also the bits that i wanted on the roof as well right it's just to hide the show building and stuff behind it does an all right job at it i mean when you're at guest level down here you don't actually see much of the uh, much of the show building so that's i think we can say mission accomplished happy happy days uh, so then the outside here the queue line um i'm not again i i'm just i'm not i'm gonna stop hating on it it's done um now it's all like flush and stuff it all looks good and i've put the concrete and stuff as, as the um as the pool and whatever it's all right yeah and then you've got the, the just the generic fencing i think it looks generic enough to be generic but it's also themed enough to be themed then i had this big gap here and i just put in a flower bed for now and of course you can see that there's future rides and stuff that's coming on so i mean overall it's it's it turned a corner and i'm all right with it and We'll leave with it. So, guys, thank you for getting to the end of the episode. Thank you for bearing with my creator's block of frustration. Uh, there you go. That's what happens. So, 
I've got a hyper to design. That's not next week's episode, but I've still got to design it. So that's where I'm going to go. Let's go on a ride on this one. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye, guys.